definitely do not forget to subscribe and like this video. Hello everyone, today we're going to take apart um, the intro to Robert Johnson's Phonograph Blues. This is a really cool guitar lick, a little bit more advanced, but I have some students getting interested in this stuff and um, I think it's fun to play and it sounds really cool. So let's go through this. Um, if you get lost at any point, there's that rewind button that comes very much in handy. You're probably going to have to use it because this is a little bit more of a complicated lick. Um, than the last couple I put up. So first off, you're going to take your second finger. Also, real quick before I get into that, this is also finger picked. So I'll kind of call out my right hand fingerings a bit as we go. These first couple notes are all with the thumb. So with your second finger, you're going to slide up from the seventh to the ninth fret on the G string, hit it again, and then ninth fret of the high E. So we get this tr triple it, eighth fret of the B. Triple it, da. Triple it, da. And you hold that for a full triplet. So we get triple it, triple it. Then you get the ninth fret of the G um, at the beginning of the triplet. And then the th that's going to last the first two notes of the triplet. And then we're going to get the um, ninth fret of the high E on the outside note of that triplet. And then we're going to move into this chord bit that is also a triplet. So we get triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. So that is the second finger, goes back to the eighth fret of the G, index seventh of the B, then third finger is still on the ninth of the high E, and you're going to hit that twice. So we get triple it, da. And then you're going to slide back with your second finger and do a half step bend, and then hit the fifth fret of the high E, then the open E, then the E7 chord. Now these are all with the first and last note of the triplet. You're going to not play in the middle note of the triplet on those ones. So we get triple it, triple it, triple it, dun. And then you damp it real quick. So it's just a real quick E7 chord. Next on the outside of that triplet we got second fret of the high E and then open A and high E. So, um, now, all this next part's kind of tricky, so you're gonna get the outside triplet here. We're gonna get open A and fifth fret of E. And I'm, if the stuff we just went over, I'm not gonna go over again, so hit rewind if you haven't caught it yet. Open A and the high E, and then damp so this is all going to be in a triplet rhythm so open a high e open a and then the fifth fret of your d and second fret of the b along with the fifth fret of the high e so we get triple it trip and damp for the middle note of the triplet there and then we get this the last note of the triplet just the fifth fret of the high e and then what you're going to get is every note of the triplet is going to have the high E, but just the first note of the triplet is going to have the fourth fret of the D here. So we get triple it. And you do actually have to damp that note so that it's... So we get... Down to the third fret of the D string. And then, um, so we get da, da, that's all fifth fret of the high E, triple it. And then we go back here, second fret finger and third finger. I'm going to hammer on to my pinky from the second fret of the high E to the, the third fret, playing both those strings at the same time. And then second fret open. So we get. And then we get the first fret of the G, third fret of the B, and the low E open. And triple it, and then full. So we get triple it, da, da. So if you've gotten lost anywhere in this, um, just hit rewind 
Uh, that's a really handy button for learning guitar on YouTube. If you have any questions, comments below. Also, don't forget to check out the Picks and Puzzles pack that I'll have linked um, underneath the video. Not today because they're just coming out, but in the coming days I'll be putting that link under each one of my videos. So keep an eye out for those. It's a cool you know, 24 pack of picks. You get two of my guitar books to help you learn this fretboard so that you can sit down and maybe read through the music for this like I did and play it exactly right. Um, and also just have a very comfortable knowledge of your fretboard. Have fun.